All right, we're here with Rattoon Motorsports. Today we're going to be putting a 20 valve plug onto a 16 valve alternator. A couple of obvious differences here are the plug positions and the output lugs. We've taken the liberty of removing these three bolts on each so we can remove the top covers. Once that happens, you'll see inside there'll be these uh, pickup points which sit inside here. We've pre-removed them so this goes a little bit faster for us. But when those are bolted in, you need a screwdriver, usually Phillips, to take out one bolt here, one bolt here, that'll pop off, and then you can access the bolt here, here, and here to remove this piece. Do the same thing on this side. Remove the bolts here and here for these pieces. Once that's off, you can remove the bolts here, here, and here, and that'll pop off. So once you have both of these off, they're essentially the same part. The difference here is they have two different plug styles, one from the 16 valve, the other from the 20 valve. We're taking our 20 valve and moving it over to the 16 valve alternator so we don't have to cut into our harness. We're going to take this, the, the fact that they use springs and we're going to push these brushes in and slip it over that shaft. So we come in from the top with a little screwdriver, slide it back, lower it down, and pull it out. Now you should see the screw holes are aligned here and here and this is floating nicely inside and the brushes need to be putting spring pressure on there nice and evenly so they have good contact. Right, here we go. Now we're going to screw the center three in. These two screws which go next to the heat sink and hold the bracket in are significantly longer than the three screws that hold in the inner section. We drop these in and we screw them in place. Once all the screws are bolted in, then use the cover that came with your original alternator, in this case it's a 16 valve cover, and we slide that on. Now, if you'll see, next to the plug, there's a very small amount of room here. We're going to cut that out. You can use a pair of tin snips or some pliers, or Dremel if you choose. Obviously don't drill it right over the alternator. Now that this piece has been trimmed back a little bit, we'll put it right on our 16 valve alternator, and it clips right into place. Once your three bolts are back on, now we've got the stud left, flat side up, slide it on, one bolt to hold it in, and then one more bolt to hold in the wires.